Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn about the transition properties in CSS. These transition properties allow elements to change values over a specified duration rather than having them occur immediately. Say we want to change the color of our div from blue to coral when we hover. So right now when I hover, nothing happens. So first let's add that. Let's bring up our code editor. All right, so div on hover. Let's change the background color to light coral. Let's save it. And now when I hover on the element, the color changes to coral instantaneously. Say we want this color to change from blue to coral in one second. This could be achieved using the transition properties. So let's give it a try. First, we have to define for which property are we uh, controlling the transition. So for that, we have a property transition property. So we want to change the background color. So that's why we'll have to give background color over here. All right, then we need to define the duration of the transition. So transition duration. So let's say one second, you can also give the value in milliseconds. So either you can write it as one second or thousand milliseconds. Let's save it. And now when I hover, slowly it turns to light coral and it turns back to blue. You see this difference? Let's increase this time. Let's say three seconds. And now when I hover on it, it slowly goes to coral. And when I remove the pointer, it comes back to blue. We can also control the animation speed. So say if we want to start the animation fast and end it slowly, or say we want to start it slowly and end it fast. For that, we have another property called transition timing function. So let's add that. So transition timing function. So this can accept multiple values, say ease in. So what ease in does is it starts slowly and ends fast. It accepts another value ease out. So what this does is it starts fast and ends slowly. I'm sure you won't be able to notice the difference right now. So let's add another div. Let's say div2. Let's save it. Let's give this div2 an ID. Let's say div2. So coming back here. And for div2, let's give it a different background color. Say this. Let's save it. And this is an ID, so hash. Let's save it. And now, as you can see, we've got two different devs with different color. Okay. So for the first one, let's keep this timing function as ease out. For the second one, let's keep it as ease in. Let's save it. So when I save it, you just try to notice this difference. So the, for the first one, we see the blue color very quickly and then it slows down. But for the second div, it starts slowly, but it ends faster. So that's the difference between ease in and ease out. If you want to keep a constant speed, you could use a value linear. So now it comes with a constant speed. There's a shorthand property for this transition properties. It's called transition. So let's try that. Let's comment these first. Let's say transition. So whenever we work with shorthand properties, sequence becomes very important. So the first one is transition property. So in our case, it was background color, then space, then it accepts the duration. So in our case, it was three seconds. After that, it accepts this timing function. So let's say is in and let's save it. And as you can see, it still functions the same way. Similarly, over here, we could replace this with the shorthand property and change this to ease out. 
All right, let's say on hover we want to change this square to circle. Before we get into the transition, let's think how do we convert square to a circle using CSS. We can use the border radius property and give it a value half of width. Let's give that a try. So on hover, change the border radius to so currently the width is 300 pixels. So border radius can be 150 pixels. Let's save it. And now when I hover, it quickly changes to circle, but the color takes time. This is because we haven't handled the border radius transition. So let's try that also. Now to add multiple transitions, we could just separate them using a comma. So instead of background color, this time it's border radius. Let's keep other values same. So three seconds and ease in. Let's say that similarly for the second one. Border radius, three seconds on, is out. Let's save it. All right, now when I hover, it slowly converts to a circle. And when I remove the mouse pointer, it slowly converts back to square. Similarly for this one, it slowly converts to circle. And when I remove it, it turns back to square. That's all for the transition properties. That's all for today, guys. If there is something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.